Welcome to the Common Man Football Show. My name is James Coburn, and today's episode, we're talking about the 2018 NFL Draft Class, specifically about production analytics at the defensive tackle position. And today's prospect in question is Taven Bryan of Florida. Uh, this is a guy that's gotten a lot of buzz on draft Twitter, a lot of buzz in general. Some people projecting him as a top 10 overall player. Some people projecting him as a first round pick or late first rounder. Some people saying he's a day two pick. A lot of stuff to unpack here with Taven Bryan, of course. Uh, but this video specifically is going to focus in on production analytics. And you might be wondering, okay, what, what is production analytics? Well, production analytics at the defensive tackle position is market share data. And market share data is where you take an individual defensive statistic, solo tackle, sacks, tackle for loss, stuff like that, and you divide it by the team total statistics. So, for example, if a defensive tackle had... 15 tackles for or say 10 tackles for loss and a team that had 100 tackles for loss then that defensive tackle had 10 percent tackle for loss market share but what you do is you take that number you take that percentage and you compare it to every single defensive tackle performance since the 1989 nfl draft class and then boom you have a way of figuring out where the all the multiple all pro defensive tackles typically performed when it came to data where all the multiple pro bowl players typically perform when it came to data as well and it just it just falls all it just falls into that general spectrum of uh, data traits so this is a lot like traits at the position on film because everybody knows what film traits are you know a defensive tackle sheds a guy and gets a tackle that's a trait you know there's so many traits to mention in terms of film but when it comes to data traits you're doing the same thing, but there's a little bit more substance to what you're doing because you're actually comparing what they were to actual defensive tackles and what their performances were, if that makes any sense. So what we're going to be looking at today is we're going to be looking at what Taven Bryant's production data says about him compared to every single defensive tackle since the 1989 NFL draft class and then get into dispelling a couple of things here and there that I've heard on Twitter and you know I don't know. I don't I don't like drama and stuff like that but I just want to make it very clear that some of the things that have been said about Taven Bryan might be a little too rich for my taste when you look at it, the actual production data. Now first off, let's look at Taven Bryan's production. Uh, when you look at his uh, mark share data, uh, he has a 77.24 solo tackle mark share production score, a 79.96 sack mark share production score and a 49.61 tackle for loss market share production score. He pretty much hits every single threshold, at least for a Pro Bowl defensive tackle. So the one area that he's a little lax in is the, t is the tackle for loss data. You know, he had a 49.61 instead of the bottom end threshold, which is a 50.87 out of 100. But it's pretty close. It's within the margin of error, if you will, uh, to say that it's that he pretty much hit that, you know, that TFL you know, area. But... He doesn't quite hit all the all-pro thresholds for the position. And that just takes his general projection down a notch to me when you look at the overall production data. Um, and again, it's not even my personal opinion. It's just that's what the data says. Like it, it basically takes him out of future Hall of Famer status to guy that could be really, really good, but just not amazing. Um, and the reason why I bring this up is because he has been compared to Nadama Kinsu, uh, by some people. I think Joe Marino, for example, who I'm a big fan of, by the way. I love Joe Marino's work. Um, but he threw out a tweet saying, this is very Sue-like, or this is, you know, this is Nadama Kinsu, you know, kind of looking at him on film. When this is Nadama Kinsu's production data coming out of college, 99.42 solo tackle mark share production score, 94.36 sack, and 95.91 tackle for loss data. As you can clearly see, this is what I mean by production traits. If you're going to compare a guy to Sue, he better have the production traits. It better not just be, oh, he did this one thing and he looks kind of like him. Because there's a ton of defensive tackles that look kind of like Sue. Jonathan Allen looked kind of like Sue at times last year. You know, Jonathan Allen from Alabama looked kind of like Sue. He didn't test like Sue as an athlete. He didn't produce like Sue. He didn't produce at this level. I mean, he was definitely very productive, but he didn't produce like this. So again, production data, production traits in general is a good way to kind of temper your expectations about a prospect. So you don't go that 
hard. You don't fall that hard for a prospect. Um, so, in general, though, with Taven Bryan, very good overall production data, indicative of a potential Pro Bowl player, but not someone that you should be considering the next Indomitian Sue, the next J.J. Watt, the next whatever you want to call him, just a guy that could easily be a multiple Pro Bowl type defensive tackle if, if of course, he tests well as an athlete in those other sort of areas, but not someone that you should be viewing as a generational prospect. So, just to get that out there. And, of course, uh, my name is James Coburn. You can find my other work at draftcoburn.wordpress.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at Geometrics. And if you like this content and you want more content like this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Share this video as well uh, with anybody that you know. Hit that notification button so that you're always reminded when another video of mine drops. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.